40 years ago, communication networks developed in US academic circles gave rise to ARPANET, the precursor of the modern internet. 12 years ago, a young tech whiz at Harvard University developed a prototype of the first social media platform. And today, more than ever, pressure is mounting on universities to stay ahead of the curve, become centers of innovation, and help to establish dialogue between businesses and talent. As groundbreaking developments in working processes become a regular occurrence, it is increasingly difficult for institutions to keep up with the times. This is where the role of research and development becomes integral. The numbers confirm its significance. Developed countries devote more of their budget to R&D year on year. For the likes of South Korea and Israel, these investments are over 4% of their GDPs. Globally, the highest share of investment into R&D is done by Asia, North America and Europe. Africa, Russia and the Middle East lag behind. Currently, governments account for around 70% of universities' research funding. The bulk of that goes to the research and development of medicine, biotechnologies, and physics. Only 10% comes from business. But it is this private funding that generates nine-tenths of the patents in software development, automaking, and electronics. And as the likes of Google and Facebook pump billions into research and development, graduate programs, scholarships, and even their own universities, competing with them will become more challenging. So do universities have a place in driving technological change or should the baton be passed to the corporate tech giants of the world?